way to measure what you are. We worship you, Jesus. Crucified, laid behind the storm. You live to die, rejected and alone, like a rose trampled on the ground. You took the fall and thought of me. You thought of me, Jesus. You thought of your people. You thought of rebuild as apostolic ministry. That you thought of this nation. When you went to the cross, Jesus, nothing could stop you. Because you thought, oh God, of saving your people. That we worship you this morning. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, our God. You are faithful, God. You are dependable, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was nothing that could tell us than what you did. My Lord and my God, how much you love us. Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He is a holy God. Be thou holy even as your Father is holy. Yes, Lord, we enter into the holies of holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. Yes, Lord. I enter to worship you only. Yes, Jehovah. I enter to honor I. Lord, I worship you. My Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. We worship you, Lord. I worship you. For your name. Holy Jesus, 
Your name is powerful. Your name is glorious. We worship. Hallelujah. For your name is holy. We worship you, Jesus. We adore you. Holy Lord, ah, your name is wonderful. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. Lord. Oh, your name is everything. Rebuild us, worship you. Oh, your name is. Your name is holy, Lord. Yeah. Your name is For your name is holy. There is none as holy as you are. Ha -ha. There is none as righteous as you are. There is none as faithful as you are. There is none as dependable as you are. Oh, come. Rebuild us declare that you are holy. Our children declare that you are holy. All that we have declared that you are holy. And you are worthy of worship. You are worthy of adoration. You are worthy of thanksgiving. We worship you. The King of Kings. The Lord of Love. The Ancient of Days. What a mighty God you are. Glory. Honor. Power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, my God. Malikarado City. Great and mighty are your name. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. That we give you glory. We will us give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If he is your God this morning. If you believe that he is the only God that you serve, open your mouth and worship him this morning. Give him glory. Yes, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. I give you glory, Lord. As I know you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Hey, Karabasite, we worship you. 
We worship you, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are one. 
Worship him this morning, exalt him this morning, give him the glory this morning, for it all belongs to him. The power belongs to him, the adoration belongs to him, the worship belongs to him. Give him all the praise, give him all the glory, give him all the praise, give him all the glory. We bless you this morning. You are wonderful, you are worthy, oh God. You are wonderful, beautiful, 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 beautiful for all situations. You are wonderful, you are wonderful, you are wonderful. We magnify you this morning. In spite of every challenge, God, you are worthy to be praised. In spite of every difficulty, God, you are worthy to be exalted. In spite of every circumstance, Lord, you deserve the worship. In spite of God, of every need, you are worthy to be praised. In spite of God, of everything that we've been through and we may be going through, you are worthy, O oh God. We bless you. We honor you. We magnify you. We give you the glory. We honor you. We honor you. Thank you, Father. We come to worship you this morning. We come to honor you this morning. We come to exalt you this morning. We come to say, Lord, you are wonderful. You are worthy. You are powerful. You are gracious. You are merciful. You are, you are everything, God. No one is like you. Those that trust in you, they are like Mount Zion. They cannot be moved. So we trust in you. 
for you deserve all praise and all worship and all adoration. Even this morning, it belongs to you, not to any man, but to you. In Jesus' name. Somebody celebrate God if you can and have your seat. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to the house of the Lord this beautiful day that the Lord has made. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord for his goodness and his grace and his mercy and his kindness. And we thank him this morning because he is good and his mercies endures forever. Amen. Amen. Open with me to Psalm 91 as we go into a communion service this morning. This is the last Sunday of the month of July. Amen. Amen. And uh, we have the opportunity even to come to the Lord's table today. And um, we want to bless the name of the Lord who has given us life and who has given us strength to see the end of another month. Amen? Amen. To him be the glory and honor and praise and dominion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing thou shalt find, thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy right side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you shall behold and see the reward of the wicked. Why? Because you, thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep thee in all your ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou touch thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, shall thou trample on the foot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. How? With long life, Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Amen. These are the promises of God. They are the promises that are based on your relationship with God. Our relationship with God is established the day we came to Christ and we accepted him as our Lord and Savior. And these promises are not just there for you to know. They are there, they are there for you to enjoy it. The Lord desires that you reap the benefit of your sonship, of your relationship with him. So as we go to the Lord's table this morning, remember that you're not a stranger. Remember that these promises of divine security, of healing, of provision, of longevity of life, of deliverance, are yours. They are not for a stranger. They are yours. They are kingdom blessings for you and I. And we must understand the power of believing the word of God. 
and accepting the truth of the word of God as that which is our truth. Because when it becomes your truth, then it will work for you. Amen. So my prayer for you this morning is that as you come before the Lord in fellowship, in communion, you would do so with a clear understanding that what this scripture have just said belongs to me. And I am partaking of it in faith, knowing fully well that nothing can stop me from receiving what God has for me. Because no man can disqualify you when God has qualified you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So come to the Lord's table in faith. Come to the Lord's table with expectation. Don't just take it and eat. Prayerfully do so. And believe God for whatever it is that you so need of. And the Lord will do it for you this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I believe in church. I believe in amen. amen. So as we come to the last table, please, if uh, the pastors here can bring the communion elements, let's pray over it. And let's talk to the Lord this morning. Can you open it, please? Thank you. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your goodness and your grace and your mercy and your kindness. Let us pray, church. Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning we come before you with such a grateful heart. Lord, we recognize that on the night you, Jesus, you were betrayed, you parted such blessing or imparted such blessing to your disciples and you commanded them that this was not just a one-time thing that this is an ordinance of the church you took the cup you said this is my blood that it is shed for the remission of our sins you took the bread you blessed it you broke it you said this is my body it is broken for you and Lord, you gave that revelation to Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 11. And you said that those who drink knowing this, knowing, knowing the truth of it, that they do demonstrate your death and your resurrection until you come again. And so, Father, we are asking this morning that the reality of the cross be made visible in our lives. Amen. If there be anyone sick here today, let there be healing, God. We command that healing take place. We speak to the body. We speak to the organs, to the tissue, to the ligaments. Let the healing virtue that flows from Emmanuel's vein come upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the situation may be, Lord, we ask right now. Above all things, Lord, that this, the assurance of our salvation be re rejuvenated in our spirit, be rekindled in our heart, that we know without a shadow of, the, of doubt that we are saved, that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. We thank you, we honor you, we magnify you, and we exalt you. And I believe in church, shall I believe in amen? amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Brother Divine, please. Remember to pray. And if there is any verse of this scripture that spoke to you, hold on to it this morning. Speak to the Lord about it. And begin to talk to God. It is your fellowship with the Lord. It is your fellowship with the Lord. Receive it. Pray over it. Thank God for it. Even as you bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Hallelujah. Somebody happy in the house this morning? If you are happy and you are sure that you are happy to be in the house this morning, shout the glorious hallelujah. hallelujah. Are people really happy this morning? Yes. If you know that you are sure that you are happy and you know what has happened by the reason of what you are speaking this morning, shout a testimony provoking hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right. If you are watching it with us for the first time this morning, please do well and be on your feet. Today is your first time of being in the Builders Apostolic Ministry. Hallelujah. Please just rise up. Rise up. Amen. Amen. Keep standing, please. Yes, you're highly welcome. Please, who invited you? Wonderful. What about you? Amen. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is faithful. I want us to know that this is Rebuilders Apostolic Ministry. This is where everybody is somebody. Praise the Lord. God is doing wonders in this place. It's a world-based church, Christ-centered, and community-oriented church. Praise the Lord. They are not just rebuilding men and women, but they build sense unto maturity in faith and in ministry. So you are in the right place. Please, uh, I want you to know that some people will be speaking to you at the end of the service. So don't be in a hurry to leave this place. The Lord will bless you with in the name of Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. It's time for us to welcome one another. I want you to look at your neighbor as Rodi gives us a wonderful song this morning. Tell your neighbor you're highly welcome. I'm glad to see you today. I'm blessed to see you today. You can stand up. You can stand up and do better than that. Yes. Outreach July 28, 2 p.m. Pastoral counseling August 12, 19, and 26, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. by appointment only. Church prayer and fasting August 1st, 7 p.m. to 8:30 p.m. Church prayers every Tuesday. Wednesday and of course Thursday in this August from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So please do well and participate in all this program. Youth and Teenagers Ministry August 2nd. Youth and Teenagers Ministry August 2nd. School of Biblical Studies and Leadership Graduation August 8th. Amen. Upcoming event. Service of praise and testimonies, August 1st. August 1st, please send in your testimony. Church, sorry, children's celebration service and fun festival, August 18th. So please, parents, prepare your children, not just preparing them, make sure you participate in that program.
King's Men Retreat, August, sorry, October 11 to 13 at Sandy Close. Is somebody happy about that? Men, make your payment and sponsor someone. Praise the Lord. Make sure you pick somebody and sponsor him for that program. Amen. So let's listen to this special announcement from Pastor's desk. A reminder that from this August, service will officially start at 9.30 a.m. with morning glory, followed by morning devotion starting at 9.45 to 10 a.m. All leaders are expected to be at church before 9.30 a.m. As well, all church workers serving in various departments. This is requirement for leadership in this church. Communicate your inability to make it to church to your departmentals, to ministry, coordinators, or pastoral staff. A reminder that testimonies must be written and submitted to Pastor Prosper every last of the month if you want to share your testimony with the church. This starts in August, so you have this week to do so. If you have a testimony that you want to share with the church to the glory of God, those who desire to become members are required to wait today after church service for a brief meeting with the pastor. Praise the Lord. God will bless us as we make use of this announcement in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give our offering unto the most high God. Let's package our offering. It's time to give to God. Remember what the word of God says? There is he that scattereth. And does what? And does what? And he has more. But there is he that retained more than what is what? Supposed to be and he tended to poverty. So please, I want to encourage you to give the best this morning. David said that you cannot give to God what has cost him nothing. So please make sure that you give some tangible thing to God as Brody gives us a danceable song this morning. Let's be on our feet, please.
Amen. Father, we thank you this morning. Behold the offering of your children. Out of the much you have given unto us, you have been able to give this. Father, we ask this morning that you may please accept them from us in the name of Jesus. Let it come like a sweet smelling savour unto you. In the name of Jesus. And in return, bless us abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Money, we always meet money in our hands. Mm. We will know no lack. Amen. We will know no shame. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My Lord and my God, I'm asking, oh God, that whatever is going to be useful, let it be unto your own glory. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you because as many that believe in you for financial miracle, let this season be theirs in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. Because any shame regarding money will never be our lot in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Let somebody shout a glorious hallelujah. 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 Uh, we're going to listen to a brief song of meditation. And um, then I'm going to bring the word of God. Uh, but before we do that, very quickly, please, as we settle in, there are these spaces up front as people come in. Please uh, honor the ushers and honor God by doing what they ask you to do. Sit where they are asking you to sit. It makes the work easy for them. Amen? Um, it is obedient 101 in church. Sit where the ushers say sit. As obedient 101. Sit where the ushers say what? Sit. Amen? Um, a very quick correction in the announcement. Throughout the month of August, the Tuesday and Wednesdays, 7 to 8, I will be here leading prayer. If I'm, I'm the only one I'm going to pray. It's taken me a month, you know, going back and forth with God on this. I don't know why he has called it, so I can't stand here and tell you, okay, this is what we're praying for. I'm coming here. And as he leads the prayer, we pray along. It's been a burden in my heart throughout a month. And I was like, people are going to work this and that. And I have come to where in this season, if it's, I'm the only one, I'm the only one. But I'm going to obey God. Amen? So we'll be here every Tuesday and every Wednesday and every Thursday. So there will be no Bible studies this month of August. So all of the Thursdays we are praying. Amen. I want you to go home and ask God, why have you called it? And what is it for me in this season? I pray that those of us who are leaders, we understand what it means to be a leader in a church and to be so committed. Amen. So on Thursdays is our normal service day. That's the correction. So don't think by, seven, by 8 you're leaving. It's 8.30. It's the normal service time. The graduation and completion um, on next Sunday, which I believe, or the 8th of August, uh, that will be the second Sunday in August, is for discipleship and those who have been attending um, the School of Biblical Study and Leadership. Amen. Can we celebrate that? When we started discipleship class here, even those who said teach it, they came once and they disappeared. It's only... Yvette and Miss Cleona, that stayed true for the entirety. And I believe that indeed God has blessed them. It's been a wonderful journey to teach on discipleship. And it's been great. Amen. And this morning, I want us to celebrate our brother AJ. Amen. He's here. Uh, we are trying to see how we can figure out to improve what we are doing sound-wise and um, uh, uh, Pastor Marco and Prosper has been talking about packaging rebuilders. So they are trying to find out how to do the packaging. So he's here and trying to help us understand how we can maximize what we have here and what we can do to improve what we're doing in view also of where we're going. Amen. Let's celebrate him one more time. Amen. Thank you for being here. And everyone who traveled, I want to welcome you back because after this, I don't have time for announcement again. Amen. Let's welcome my brother, Maxi. 
uh, who traveled and is back. Um, I think Pamela Travel is back. Every other person who traveled that uh, told me they were traveling, welcome back. Amen. No, you didn't tell me anything, so I'm not welcoming you. <laughs> and you didn't go anywhere either. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's listen to this song of meditation and um, allow the Lord to speak to you as it plays. And um, prepare your heart for the word of God. Brother Divine. God. 